Hello everyone and welcome in another video tutorial about Stata program and some statistical issues. Today is the endogeneity problem. So what is the best solution for endogeneity? If we have endogeneity problem, so we are looking for good instruments good instruments which can be used to solve the endogeneity issue so how can we find good instruments from our data set if we have this issue of endogeneity in our models uh, firstly to test for endogeneity so the Hausman test which proposed by these two guys, 1993, so should be conducted using too many programs, including STAT. I will show you in, not in this video, in the next video, inshallah, how can we perform this test of endogeneity, whether or not we have endogeneity problem or not. So, let's get started. And before we start, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you find it useful so the most common approach among researchers to resolve this issue of endogeneity is the instrumental variable approach so what is this this utilizes or used instrumental variables IV the two-stage least square regression analysis so if you like to get reference for that you have to go to these references these guys these two guys also these guys as well they are more than one in three and these guys I will try to put these references in the description of the video if you would like to use them as reference in your study or your thesis so all of these guys, they suggest that the lagged value of the endogenous variable or the endogenous variables can be used as a good instruments. So the lagged value, one lagged value, two lagged value, it depends on how big is your data set. Because when you apply the lagged value, you will lose some observations. If you apply the two lagged values, you will lose more observations to run the two stage least square using the instrumental variable approach. So, the lagged value of the instrumental variables. So, what is the assumption in general? The assumption of the instrumental variables. What's the assumptions of the instrumental variables? these assumptions let's zoom it a little bit to make it more clear so the assumption that they should be correlated with the endogenous independent so they should be correlated with the independent which is the endogenous and they should have no direct link with the dependent with the dependent i will show you how can you find good instrument from your data set using my own thesis this is my own work this is this work is a summary of five years of working on this phd thesis so let's go to the correlation matrix the correlation matrix will tell us the story of the instrumental variables let's go to matrix so correlation matrix here So the correlation matrix now in my study I am investigating the relationship between CSR and accrued earnings management. 
and the literature says that CSR and accrual earnings management might be endogenously determined. So I should apply the lagged value of accrual earnings management as instrument. Also, I can use any other independent variable which has no link with CSR and at the same time should have a correlation with accrual earnings management. So this is the column of CSR. So CSR with CSR is one. So the rest of the variables all are correlated with the exception of this one. Mark to book value, there is no correlation here, there is no stars, and returns on assets, no stars. So these two can be used as a good instrument. That assumption one is compliant. The second assumption, they should have correlation with accrual earnings management. So accrual earnings management is second one, so two. So let's go down and see. So that's marked book value. It has three stars. So it's significant correlation with marked book value with one percent level. ROA same. It's correlated with accrual earnings management. So they have no correlation with CSR. They are correlated with accrual earnings management and can be used as a good instruments for accrual earnings management to perform the test of endogeneity and to check whether or not these two variables are endogenously determined. I hope this video was a little bit helpful for some of you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support this work to grow up.